It was springtime in the valley, a lovely spring with flowers blooming and the meadow all aglow with new life. For all of the many insects, this was the best time of the year, especially for the fun-loving grasshopper. Nothing to do all day but play and eat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Club Springtime. And now for our first number, a one, two. was that the grasshoppers spent day after day playing and singing. Then, one day, Sounds like somebody... Huh? What is this? It's the sound of ants carrying food to their storehouses. How inconsiderate can you be? Hey! What's the matter with you ants? Don't you know we're having a party up here? Oh, we're terribly sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you, but we should be finished here soon. Well, soon's not enough. Save your breath. It won't do any good. All those ants think about is work. Ignore them. Let's get back to the party. That's a good idea. Okay, everyone, back to the party. A toast to the hardworking ants. Way to go, Annie. <laughs> oh, those poor ants. Suddenly. A big gust of wind sent the insects scrambling for cover. But the little grasshopper maiden could not help but feel sorry for her friend, the hard-working ant. Oh, thank you. Will you join our party? But there's still so much work left for us to do. Oh, but surely you wouldn't be so impolite as to refuse my sister's invitation, would you? Just this one time couldn't hurt, could it? Let's dedicate this next tune to our friend, the ant. I'll make it a waltz. May I have the honor of this dance? But I don't know how. Oh, it's easy. Come on, just try, please. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, brother, how could you? Are you okay? Oh, it's all right. We ants weren't cut out for dancing and parties anyway. I'd better get back to help with the work. See you. I'm sorry.
spring gave way to summer, but still the ants kept on working. Hey, Ant, wouldn't you rather be fishing on a beautiful day like today? No, I've got too much left to do. Oh, is that right? Well, only a fool would be out working on a hot summer day like today. Oh, brother, please don't tease him anymore. He's just not like you. Huh, if I were like him, I'd be working all the year round. Where's the fun in that? Come on, let's go. In no time at all, summer turned to fall. The ants were still hard at work gathering their food. And of course, the other insects were still dancing and singing as the grasshopper threw one party after another without giving a single thought to his chores. But one by one, the party goers began to go home to prepare for winter. Leave me alone. When it's time to work, I'll work. But right now, I've got to get some rest. But of course, he never did do any chores. And before they knew it, winter's chill was upon them. there was no place for them to go. They had not prepared any food or shelter for the long winter. <coughs> oh, I can't go any further. He, you've got to. Just a bit farther. <coughs> oh. Oh. It's the end. What luck. We'll be able to spend the whole winter with him. Sure looks warm. But brother, after the way you treated him. I know. But surely he'll take us in. But the ant worked so hard all year long, preparing for winter. It wouldn't be right for those of us who played all year and made fun of him to ask him for help now. Do you really think we have the right to ask him? Be our friend now. I surely deserve to be left out in the cold, but that's all right, brother. But you were his friend. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. Let's go. Please forgive me. And of course, the ant did not know the grasshoppers were outside. Who but a fool would be outside on a day like this? And so, the foolhardy grasshoppers had no choice but to spend the winter walking the snowy fields, cold and hungry. <laughs> 